This video was filmed and edited by Geo Barlett Productions. <laughs>
uh, meaning, which means it means more to the person. That's what I'm trying to say. But now everybody in the family, maybe they see me as like the artist or whatever. Right, yeah, yeah. They don't see you like that until you actually make a living doing it. Right, yeah. that's exactly like it doesn't really. <laughs> and I think the Japanese found that maybe before anybody, maybe the Polynesians too, you know, like, but everything is super meaningful. Go back far enough in tattooing in any culture. It all just has like a strong meaning to it, you know, so I think that's a really good thing when you're getting into um, doing any tattoo is to have some strong meaning behind it because then you're never going to regret it. So like the koi fish, for instance, is kind of like a myth mythological Japanese story about the fish that swims upstream and uh, goes up this like magic waterfall and transitions into the powerful dragon you know so you have to go through like your worst and hardest struggles to evolve into like your most powerful and beautiful form there's always a lot of history to it too and another big reason is my mentor always told me that the koi is like the most universal cover-up it's always awkward when people are like this is way worse than i thought it was oh no <laughs> I just feel bad for people sometimes and they're in a lot of pain, you know, but there's yeah. nothing you can really do about it. It's just like, I'm just like. Have you ever had anybody just like walk out and be like, no, not no, no. I did have a chick walk out the other day. Really? And, yeah, and like, uh, we were like probably, I don't know, maybe like halfway done, maybe a little less than halfway. We got the cover up portion done, but sometimes when you get the cover up portion done, and there's still a bunch of background, like they won't come back in because they're like, well, it's covered, you know? <laughs> it's like, it really needs a lot more. <laughs> and so uh, when this guy asked uh, for that, and that guy knew it was gonna work really good and that uh, I was gonna be able to give him what he wants also. So when you can hit both those nails, that's, that's really good, you know? And uh, this time, you know, I didn't get to do a watercolor tattoo or black and gray realism necessarily, but I got to have a lot of fun, work with a really cool guy. He's a wrestling coach at the high school um, in the town next to us, so it's pretty cool uh, to be able to work with these locals and to get my artwork out here walking around and to help cover up old tattoos that people don't want anymore. I think this guy had a tattoo from a really long time ago. You know, I felt like the story of the Dragon Koi was like a way better like representation of this guy and his life and everything and like the struggles he's been through rather than the old tattoo that was there. Um, it was just a logo, something to do with wrestling. So um, it was pretty light though, it was pretty easy to work with. So I'm just glad I was able to give him what he wanted and to do a nice tattoo and to work with somebody that uh, is gonna appreciate the art. Yeah, they just started um, doing licenses for people to hunt pythons out there. That's like a thing now. Like people are going to the Everglades to hunt pythons. <laughs> like it's a little more detailed looking if you go in and do every scale and stuff. The other way is kind of the lazy way to it. Too. Well, thank you for not doing it that way. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to make it as detailed as possible. Throw the cool shit into it and make it look like a really nice tattoo. It's a lot of mediocre shit walking around, you know? I feel like there's like not really that much room for that shit anymore. Like, people used to just be able to do fucking skulls and planes or something like that, you know? But you can't just do that now. <laughs> right. The same 10 tattoos off your wall like, your, your whole life or whatever. I like having this challenge of like the request from the client and then kind of make my version of it. Mm -hmm. We had plans to wrap it all the way around the inside, but I usually only work at max of about six hours a day at most of actual tattooing time because it kind of like was pretty exhausting at that point like for me and the client like the skin's pretty beat up after that much tattooing so it's not going to heal up as good and um, I'm just kind of like my back hurts and I'm just kind of like over it at that point and you want me like at my 100% like concentration and like interest in it for sure like to be able to be doing like the best quality possible so uh, around that time frame is when we ended the tattoo and I had outlined like the rest of it for the inside and we're gonna do a couple more like flowers in there that uh, represent um, a couple more of the kids because that's what all the flowers represent is like different birth months for all the different kids that he has so in the next like 
month or two, I think I have him scheduled to come back in and finish it up. So that should be really cool too. Right now, if you're interested in getting a tattoo, I'm booking for the end of November and then I'm pretty open through December still right now. But uh, the holidays, actually, like for the last couple of years, have been getting busier than the rest of the year. And that's like abnormal, like flip flop. But uh, I think it's because like I got a pretty good local clientele now. So like people that have moved away and stuff come back for the holidays. So I think that they're return clients from those times. Uh, it makes sense to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But uh, either way, it gets it picks up a little bit. So if you would like to book then please just contact me and we'll get you started by setting up with a consultation. Alright guys, that's a wrap. Thank you again for joining us here at Iron Tiger Tattoos in Mount Pleasant, Michigan. If you're interested in your own cover-up tattoo, definitely contact me and we can get you started.